In this video, I'm going to show you how to get a string input from the user. Okay, so the first thing is we prompt the user to enter the data. So prompt is going to be byte is enter a string. And the next step is to um, create another variable to hold our um, string that the user is going to um, enter. I'm going to say my bar byte and then the size of it. The size of it doesn't have to be exact. You can say the maximum size that a user can input. I'm going to put 20. And since I don't know what the values are going to be, and since these are multiple values, you're going to put do and question mark. So this is how you declare a variable which you're going to get user input as a string. And then you can have another variable which is going to uh, call byte count. Byte count is going to show you how many um, character your user input. So the maximum input is going to be the maximum that the user can input. And the byte count, which we're going to get afterward, we don't know the value yet, and it's going to be a D word. And the byte count is going to be um, the number of characters that your user entered. Okay. So those are our data. And then inside of our code, we first move prompt inside of our EDX because we want to prompt the user to enter a value. So offset and byte, sorry, prompt. And then the next step is to move the my bar inside of the EDX because that's Actually, first we have to call write string to display the message. And after that, we're going to move our my var, which is empty inside of EDX. So EDX offset my var. And then we're going to put the maximum size, the um, the size of our war inside of ECX. So move ECX and then the size of my war. Okay, these two lines of code are important. And after that, call read string. Here we're going to get the user's input. And if we want to get the number of Im no, number of characters that our user input, um, we're going to move byte count to EAX. Okay? And after that, to check that we already have everything, um, we're going to move, we're going to call write string which is going to display whatever is inside of edx and right now inside of our edx is going to be what we input and after that we're going to call write int write deck which is going to show the number of characters that our user input okay now let's run it have only one F so size of okay please enter a string I'm gonna say hi and as you can see it displayed hi which means that it already took it inside of EDX and the number of 
characters that I entered was two. 